a, a, a controversial rabbi, a messianic rabbi. So Mike Pence got someone to say prayers after the terrorist attack upon the synagogue in Pittsburgh. He was described in the news as a rabbi, but he's not a rabbi. He believes that, in, in the strict Jewish sense of the word, he's uh, a man who believes in the role of Jesus, that, that Jesus was a messiah. So is that as offensive as it sounds to normal Jews, the idea that he would mark a massacre in a synagogue with somebody who essentially subscribes to a faith system that poo-poos some of the most central tenets of traditional Judaism? Maybe we should have talked about Waitress Food Illustrated magazine. This is bound to end in tears, probably mine. But before that, here's the question. All right, the new president of Brazil, this uh, Bolsonaro, Bolsonaro character, is utterly vile. I mean, beyond vile. He's even viler than Donald Trump because he says things that we all suspect Donald. Necessarily thinking about pulling an alarm. No, you're just no, trying to defend not. yourself. Mm. And, and, and how common is this amongst your colleagues, Sharon, when you talk to other nursing staff? What, what sort of stories do they tell you? I would say that certainly on that unit, um, probably every one of us had been assaulted at some point in the mm. last in the last year. Um, it's very, very high prevalence. And the trouble is the more minor assaults aren't pursued. Um, they're sort of seen as normalised and seen as part of the job, which they aren't. It's not OK to get hurt at work. No, no of course, course not. Do you think there will be a time when... Break. In that moment, I was desperate to go back for them. It was as though I'd left part of myself in there. Well, it must mean an awful lot to you. Awful is the word. They represent the sham, which has been my entire adult existence. They bought my silence and my devotion. I so bitterly wish now that I'd never accepted them. Mother, I cannot go back and undo what I've done. But I very much wanted some good to come out of the sorry mess before it's too late. So, I was having them valued for you and Virage. Here, please. Prosecution as, as my assailant didn't have mental capacity. Mm. But what it will do will... And a better understanding and a better relationship, hopefully, between uh, police yeah. and the CPS and the NHS managers, which is what we, we definitely need. They're never for anything, these people. That's why the things that they claim to be for are always so meaningless, like sovereignty or control. They're not, they're not policies. They're words that mean whatever you want them to mean. You need, you need to be for justice. You need to be for equality. I can tell you what that means. I know what they are. But they're never for anything, these people. They're always against it. And one of the great riddles of Middle Eastern politics, one of the great riddles of 20th and 21st century politics, is how Israel has become a totem of those sort of authoritarian leaders. Modern Israel is fated and courted by authoritarians like Donald Trump. And now the Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, has made it clear that he is probably going to attend the inauguration of Jair Bolsonaro, the fascist Brazilian president. And I would, from my slightly rarefied perspective, 